me, for me, I've been very open. You know, I've always been curvy. It wasn't enough. You know what I'm saying? I thought I want to take it to the extreme. And I was like, you know, I can't, a man, I'm having trouble with men right now. Maybe if I had a big old, a huge butt, mm -hmm. that's, uh -huh. I'd get even bigger love. Yeah. You uh -huh. know? So I thought that's what I did. I did teeth. I did butt. Um, I did hips. And now I'm to the point where I've been getting tired of, of it for years, trying to kind of lipo. Now it's to the point where it's affecting my health. Mm -hmm. And wow. we're thinking that the aching and everything that made me go and, you know, get checked for lupus is due because my legs, my butt is so big and my legs are not holding oh. it. Wow. Oh. This is so real. People don't talk about that, yeah, though. Yeah. They just want you to be like, ah, that's not it. Like, I've literally gone to doctors who don't want to touch it. I've gone to docs. I found a doctor now, Dr. Gavami, that's going to do it for me. Mm -hmm. And... You know, he said, I see this all the time. But imagine right. if you don't have the money to get it out. Yes. Right. Yeah. So you got these big olds, you got these butt shots, and you got you in pain, and you don't have any money oh. to get it out of yeah. you. They don't tell you about that. They don't say anything yeah. about that. So for me, my doctor was like, you can't, you can't be pregnant in the butt and in the stomach. Yeah. Right. Yeah. right. <laughs> you, your little legs is not going to keep it. So I'm literally January the 12th, I go, and they're removing the foreign objects out of my body.